Welcome back, Story Hour friends. We're so glad you're back this week for our next stop on the on our virtual trip around the world. Today we're going to learn about some awesome Amazonian animals. And then we'll hear a fantastic story called Hooray for Amanda and her alligator by the great Mo Willems. Because this week we are in Brazil, a large country in South America. Brazil is home to the second largest, longest river in the world, the Amazon. The Amazon River starts in the mountains of, of the other, another South American country, Peru. But most of the rivers twist and turn its way through Brazil, where it flows into the Atlantic Ocean. The Amazon River is home to some unusual animals, like pink river dolphins and hungry black piranha. Another creature we may see on our trip this week is a member of the alligator family. It is a caiman. Caimans have big jaws and jaws and large, large, long tails and short legs. They are great swimmers, moving their tails through from side to side to, to glide quietly through the water. There are six types of caimans, all with tough skin and protection. The dwarf caiman grows to three feet long. The largest caiman is the black caiman. It can grow to 15 feet. Even the smallest caiman can give a powerful bite. So let's admire these animals from a distance. Hi, Story Hour Travelers. We're here near the Amazon River in Brazil. And boy, is it hot. Are you hot? Oh, so many bugs. We're here to get to teach you a rhyme. Maybe you've heard it before. Ready? Five little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. Oh, <laughs> uh, you want to take a monkey down? Great. Thank you. Four little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. Thank you. <gasps> Just three little monkeys playing in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. Just two left. Two little monkeys playing in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. Just one. Just one little monkey in that tree playing as happy as can be. He's teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. No little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and he looked, and he looked, and he looked, but no little monkeys did he see, so he swam back home, just as quiet as can be. Thank you, Ellie. I think we should remember, we need to stay away from crocodiles, don't we? Amanda and Her Alligator by Mo Willems 
Six and a half surprising stories about two surprising friends. Chapter one, a surprising surprise. Amanda was at the library getting her books for the week. Her alligator was not. He was waiting for Amanda to get back. I do not like it when Amanda is gone, thought alligator. I am no good at waiting. He paced around the room. He fiddled with his tail. When Amanda comes home, we will have fun, thought Alligator. Maybe she will have a surprise for me. Alligator smiled. Finally, Amanda came back into her room. Do you have a surprise for me, asked Alligator. Do you want a surprise, asked Amanda. He did. Boo, yelled Amanda. Eek, yelled Alligator. You always bring home the most interesting surprises, said Alligator. Chapter two, an unsurprising surprise. Amanda was reading her new library book, How to Raise a Tiger, when her alligator snuck into the room. He giggled. I have a surprise for you, said Alligator. Would you like it? He giggled some more. Is it you yelling boo, asked Amanda. Uh, said Alligator, not anymore. You'd better put on your old thinking cap if you want to surprise me, Amanda said as her alligator left the room. And that is just what Alligator did. Chapter two and a half, an extra surprise. Alligator still had a perfectly good unused boo and no one to give it to. So... He gave it to himself. Boo! Eek! Chapter three, a surprising tickle. Amanda was reading her new library book, Whale Songs for Beginners, when her alligator came into her room. He was wearing his old thinking cap. Something tickles, said alligator. What tickles, asked Amanda. I do, yelled alligator. And he did. Good old thinking cap. Chapter four, a surprising value. Amanda was reading her new library book, Climbing Things for Fun and Profit, when her alligator came into the room. He was not wearing his thinking cap when he said, something tickles. That was a funny joke, said Amanda, but I'm not going to fall for it again. No, really, said alligator. When friends say no really, they mean it. Amanda helped her alligator find what tickled. Something was attached to his tail. It's a price tag, said Amanda. Read it, read it, said alligator. I've always wanted to know how much I am worth. Amanda read the tag. It says seven cents. Seven cents, gasped alligator. Why am I only worth seven cents? Amanda did not say anything. Tell the truth, said Alligator. When friends ask you to tell the truth, you tell the truth. You were in the sail bucket, said Amanda. I was in the sail bucket, said Alligator. Why was I in the sail bucket? Amanda told her Alligator the truth. No one wanted to buy you, she said. I am afraid to ask, but I must know, said Alligator. Why did no one want to buy me? Amanda told her alligator, no one wanted to buy you because they knew you were meant to be my best friend. After that, alligator felt better. And that's the truth. Chapter 5, A Surprising Solution Amanda was reading her new library book, You Can Make It Yourself, Jetpacks, when she noticed her alligator chewing on her head. Stop that, said Amanda. I'm bored, said Alligator. I always say, books beat boredom, said Amanda wisely. Alligator decided to give it a try. He went to the bookshelf. He looked at the books. He picked out a book. Well, what do you know, thought Alligator. Books do beat boredom. But Amanda's head tastes better. Chapter 6. A Surprising Discovery Amanda was at the zoo with her grandpa. Her alligator was not. He was waiting for Amanda to get back. 
I do not like it when Amanda is gone, thought Alligator again. I am no good at waiting. He paced around the room again. He fiddled with his tail again. He tried to eat another book, but his heart was not in it. When Amanda comes home, we will have fun, thought Alligator. We will sing silly songs. We will dress up. We will make discoveries. Maybe Amanda will have another surprise for me. Alligator smiled. Surprise, yelled Amanda, swinging open the door. Look what Grandpa got for me at the zoo. It was a panda. The panda was huge. The panda was fluffy. The panda did not look like it came from the sail bucket. Alligator did not like Amanda's surprise. Nice to meet you, said the panda. Whatever, replied Alligator. Oh, cried Amanda. I have to go. Grandpa is taking me to dinner. Amanda skipped out of the room. The panda looked around the room. What do we do now, she asked. We wait, replied Alligator. Alligator and the panda waited. After a very short wait, the panda suddenly barked. I am no good at waiting. I am better at singing silly songs or dressing up or making discoveries. Alligator looked at Panda. That evening, Alligator sang a silly song. That evening, Panda dressed up. That evening, Alligator made a discovery. He had a new friend. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. Be sure to head over to our Town of Porter Libraries and get your story hour in the back for this week and some really great books as well.